Right, um, I wanted to do this quick blog. Um, it's in response, although I'm not going to tag it to that response. So if he checks it out, it's up to him. Uh, to some comments that Kevin Costner Hero has been putting on some of my videos. Um, when I read out William Shakespeare's Sonnet 29 after hearing Matthew McFadden, who, in my opinion, I thought read it very badly. I mean, I've heard lots of readings and I know what sounds good and what doesn't. Um, as everyone does and you know they all have their own opinions but when I heard this um, I you know was quite shocked that it sounded so poor so I recorded my own version and since um, some people one person has come to my defense and uh, he's been attacking and this comment really uh, struck me because um, obviously sometimes it is possible to delude yourself thinking you have something and, and other people might tell you that you have a good voice or your voice sounds nice or you know whatever or you read well and then someone comes along and says you don't and then f even though I know I've had more people tell me um, uh, in fact he's probably the only person who's told me that my voice doesn't sound uh, nice um, but then just because that one that's the one that's really struck me and so I've started to consider is that the case has he got it wrong or have I got it wrong or what and his comment uh, that he posted on um, the Matthew McFadden reads the poem Sonnet 29303 that you'll see um, the comment that I made in reference to why I made some comments about that poem or the reading of it um, he said because uh, I questioned maybe I need to reevaluate my voice then and he said um, I'm not sure what this bit is he said your voice grates on my nerves and you seem to be trying to speak with emotion but to me it's awful it's like people on X Factor or a talent show of some sort who think they sing beautifully, have their friends tell them they do, only to find out they've got no talent and no bloody voice. So yeah, I think you read with no emotion, or maybe you do and the emotion is just pained and somber. <laughs> so, you know, after getting a comment like that, although it does seem to be filled with a bit of vitriol in there, and this person is an extreme fan of Matthew McFadden. You've got to remember that Matthew McFadden played Darcy. And when you ever play a character like that, you get people who, you know, um, see things rose-tinted glasses or, or see things one way. I'm not saying that he is, but that's why I'm asking you. So I've made this video to ask for the people who are my subscribers and who actually do view this video, if every single one of them could tell me um, whether my voice is nice or not or whether you know he's right or um, or not or just so I know because I'm um, because you know he's made a lot of comments about my voice and at one point he said it sounded like death um, and he said you know lots of other things you can check them out yourself and I was just wondering maybe he's right maybe you know I've got used to people telling me um, you know I mean, it's not just been on YouTube that I've heard people tell me that I have a very good voice or reading voice or receive pronunciation you know I had that back in when I was doing media in school I mean one of my teachers said that's why I found out what that term meant receive pronunciation they said that was the voice I had and you know through you know it's not just been um, for the last few years it's been like the last 10 years that people have been telling me that I have a good voice and a warm voice and a, a romantic voice and a lot of emotion in there so I just want to ask you because you're on there this thing has been commented on YouTube you're my subscribers um, or the people who just happen to hear this video and I would like your view um, you can always if you don't want to hear this bit because obviously I speak differently when I'm reading a poem out maybe I should read that poem out on here <laughs> let's let's read the poem out on here because then that makes sense doesn't it let me search for it live uh, ad hoc you can check the poem out yourself uh, which might be better and uh, let me see if I can find it I should search for it on Yahoo really shouldn't I and then you can tell me you know whether I am deluding myself thinking that, uh, that you know when people tell me that I have a good voice whether I do or not and uh, will it be in your hands then won't it right so this is the one I read out let's hope I can read it out properly um, and you can tell me what you think of my voice. That's just basically what I want to know. What you think of my voice. Right, Shakespeare's Sonnet 29. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes. Is this the one I actually read? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Okay. 
When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, And trouble death heaven with my bootless cries, And look upon myself and curse my fate, Wishing me like to one more rich in hope, Featured like him, like him with friends possessed, Desiring this man's art and that man's scope, with what I must most enjoy contented least. Yet in these thoughts myself almost despising, Haply I think on thee, and then my state, Like to the lark at break of day arising, From sullen earth sings hymns at heaven's gate, For thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings, That then I scorn to change my state with kings. As there you go. So, right, you can always check the one I actually read or some of the other poems that I've read. You know, if you're a subscriber, you've probably heard my voice a million times over, so you will know whether you think it is good or not, whether people over the years have been telling me my voice is good and nice and romantic and warm and all these other things. You tell me what you think of my voice, what attributes you think, and whether these people are wrong or right or what. So, um, I leave it up to you. It's in your hands. If you don't comment, <laughs> then... Uh, you're doing me a disservice so it's in your hands I leave it in your hands your capable hands and um, I hope you respond um, because if you don't then uh, then you're gonna leave me sailing down the swanee without a paddle <laughs> anyway thank you kindly take care take it easy and peace